All right, I wanted to do a quick review on Samsung Pay. I've been using it as my main mode of payment for probably the last two solid months. I used it before that, but the cards I wanted weren't supported just yet. The last two months they have been, and I've used it everywhere. So if you haven't used Samsung Pay, uh, you're in for a treat. First, you want to download it. Open it up. On the bottom, you've got your cards here. There's three different kinds of cards. You've got your credit and debit cards, gift cards, and membership cards to different businesses. To add a card, simply hit add in the top right corner and you can add a card by scanning it. It enters all the basic information. You still have to enter some things such as the CVV sometimes, but this catches almost everything. If you want to see what cards are supported, there's a link there. It brings you to a web page. You click here to see all that are supported. And Samsung has a nice index page for you, alphabetically. And as you can see, Samsung has a lot of banks and a lot of cards that they've partnered with. The other thing to make note of is the promotions up the top right. Especially when you first use Samsung Pay, almost always is there a promotion for new users. Right now, it's an Amazon gift card. If you make three purchases from the 12th to the 1st, you get $10. The other thing to make note of is your settings. Here in your settings, you can set where to use Samsung Pay from. Click at the top and there's three different options. Use it from your lock screen, home screen, or your screen off. Haven't been that impressed with the screen off, but the other two work great. So once you've got a card in there, there's three ways to access it. One is just in the app where we just were, or you can swipe from the bottom up. That brings up all my different cards. Then you can scroll through the individual cards for which one you'd like to use. You can authenticate then with a pin or with your fingerprint. Once you've authenticated, there's a time you put it next to the card reader or the NFC reader and magic you'll make a payment. Sometimes they'll ask to see your name. It's right under there at the time bar. Uh, if your time runs out, there's a retry button. And they also might ask you for the last four digits of your card, which is on the bottom of that card. You can see 1198 is this one in particular. What is so great about that is that it changes every time. You get a new card number every time. Much more safe than any other payment we've ever seen before. Now, NFC and MST, both very cool. NFC is near-field communication. It's how most of these you know, phone payments are working nowadays. Android Pay, Apple Pay, they all use NFC. You get it close enough to the NFC reader, it communicates back and it works. Problem is, most businesses don't have NFC readers yet. Um, so that's where Samsung has really come into the game and probably given us their most promising reason to switch to a Galaxy if you haven't got one already. Uh, the MST allows you to put your card right next to any credit card reader and read it from there. Uh, the two issues I found with this, are uh, one is at the gas pump. Uh, at the gas pump, if there's not an NFC reader, uh, the card swiper doesn't seem to pick it up very well. The other one is a, a sit-down restaurant. Uh, I noticed I, I didn't bring my wallet because I've always used my, my phone. They brought me the check. Well, you can't really send your phone back. So it's always a good idea to keep, you know, one on you. But other than that, uh, it works flawlessly everywhere. Uh, really impressed with Samsung Pay. If you have any questions about it, I've come pretty used to it. Leave me a comment. And uh, thanks for watching.